Hello everyone, and welcome to the Schneider Electric Altifer EZ310 Drives e-learning platform. In this section, we will introduce the startup and commissioning process of Altavar EZ310 drives. Let's start with operation of the multi-loader, which can copy the configuration from one drive to another when the drive is powered off. First, unwrap the packaging. Then, insert the multi-loader plug into the ATV310 RJ45 port. This allows you to configure drive parameters via the multi-loader. Next, let's power on the drive. There is a QR code label on the control panel for quick access to the Schneider Electric Technical Support website. Now, let's open the control cover upon which you will find several parameters from the short menu section of the Altavar EZ310 drive full parameter list. Let's learn about the control panel structure, which includes four function buttons and one navigation button. Mode button toggle between control and programming modes. It can also switch between reference, monitor, and configuration modes. Exit button used to exit menu or parameters or discard display value to restore previous storage values. Stop reset button stops the motor. Run button if configured this function controls forward operation of the motor. Now let's enter configure mode. Configure mode first displays the short menu section. 301 is motor frequency. 401 is given channel 1, 501.0 is acceleration time, 501.1 .1 is deceleration time, 512.0 is low speed, 512.2 .2 is high speed, 302 is rated motor power, 305 is rated motor current, 204.0 is AL1 type, 101 is stored customer configuration, 102 is default restore to customer configuration. Next, enter the complete menu section for access to all other parameters. This includes six sub-menus. 100 series menu is macro configuration. 200 series menu is input and output menu. 300 series menu is motor control menu. 400 series menu is control menu. 500 series menu is function menu. 600 series menu is fault detection management menu. 700 series menu is communications menu. After completing drive parameter settings, we can start the drive and run the motor.